What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got the Corey Kenshin situation is insane. Now I don't know what situation they're talking about. I I'm trying to get down to the bottom of this. Um yeah, by the boy Kowski. Kowski, I'm I'm just say that. But anyways, make sure you like, come subscribe on yeah, on the road to 10K at 2,300 subscribers. I will be doing a long, strutted out vlogs. 35 minutes, 45 minutes, hour. Yeah, we just gonna see what that play, how that play out. I ain't gonna lie, my first, very first one, I'm not gonna lie to you. As soon as I get home, edit, drop. Because I'm already knowing. Them shit's gonna take forever to edit. But um, yeah, let's see what this guy going on. Kowski, make sure you... Get everything down to the nitty gritty. I'm trying to see what the hell going on. You dig? Hold on, let me swing on him. So recently, there's been a lot of drama with it. Oh, I remember that clip. Poor Kenshin community, and I'm mm -hmm. here to give you guys a rundown of it. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't know, Corey Kenshin has been missing for just over a year now, as his last upload was in the June of 2023. Oh, yeah. And the issue is, he's a huge YouTuber with almost 20 million subscribers. And mm -hmm. of course, he has a diehard fan base with all of them wanting to know when he is going to come back, especially since it's very odd for such a big YouTuber to go missing for an entire year. Now, Corey yep. himself doesn't even really speak to his community or give any updates no. on how he is doing or when he is coming back which really leads to the fans becoming these internet detectives and basically trying to find out any little piece of information about him that they can to figure out when he is going to come back now realistically all these updates his fans post or make videos on doesn't really mean anything like these guys post daily sightings on Corey in public like he's a rare pokemon but that literally doesn't mean anything like we know he exists he just isn't posting i guess it's just the fans want to know if he's doing okay or just want an update about him now this has actually become a big issue in the Corey Kenshin community especially with one channel in particular somehow this man has made himself the most hated creator in the Corey Kenshin community and if I'm being real he has many reasons to be hated with one of the main ones being because they think he is using the fact that Corey has taken a break from YouTube to spam clickbaity videos about it every single day so oh I hate people who do that if you a diehard fan of somebody, don't be don't be trying to use certain shit in their life as click. That is weird, bro. Like, come on, bro. That is weird. I know one day, someday, hopefully. Wait, I take that back. I, I know one day, someday, if I continue to grind, it's gonna be people like, don't do that. Don't do that. That that, in my opinion, that's weird as fuck. Cause if you're real diehard fan, you'll you'll still support them regardless if they there or not. Even for a look, yeah, I know some of y'all. I'm not speaking to all y'all, just some. The select few who do that. Channel is called The Gamer Palace. Now, before we actually get into what he does and why people hate him, I would like to just say I'm not hating on the guy, nor do I want people to go hate on his channel, especially as the majority of YouTube already hate him. So, you know, we're on good terms here, no hate. So, to give you guys a quick rundown on what he does, he basically makes these update videos on the tiniest little information about Corey, basically milking him. Pause. Hold on, that. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. Corey. To get started in the. Uh. Trying to get them click baby. Corey Kenshin officially responded. So tons of people have made videos on Corey Kenshin and how he has been gone for well over a year. And since Corey isn't active on PlayStation, I speculated that Corey responded to my videos by not being active on anything. And ever since the one year mark of his hiatus, he hasn't been spotted in public. And of course, no activity on his Twitter and Instagram and obviously his YouTube channel. And you would think Corey would respond by being online on social media just to clarify to his fans that he's not dead. But unfortunately, Corey hasn't responded and has left no signs and this is very concerning. So the issue is with the Gamer Palace is he spams these clickbaity videos on Corey Kenshin updates like is he coming back or if he has been spotted in public with some of them being a little bit crazy like in some of these he started tracking um, his Steam and PSN profile which could be seen as a little bit over the top. Like imagine if someone started stalking your game profiles like you load up Minecraft one day and then the next day you see yo oh my god he's playing Minecraft like yo chill out that's definitely Definitely, you know, a bit dodgy. Corey Kenshin officially came back. Now I'm extremely excited to share this information because this could really be the official return of the Shogun Corey Kenshin. So Corey Kenshin's PlayStation profile shares that Corey has been playing a game called Dredge and he achieved 
first of all, what the fuck is Dredge? Second off, that's not even, that's not a fan. That's a fucking creep. Mm-hmm. He a, he a can, he a can, he a can. He a can, he a can, he a creep. Let me stop. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do that. Kendrick, I love you. I forever love you. I'm not going to do that, but if you know, you know multiple achievements and it seems as if he really likes this game and it was only six hours ago at the time of this recording so what does this mean well the speculation is that Corey kenshin is beating the entire game and he's going to upload it to youtube and schedule the whole series and you might also be asking why would Corey do a series on a game that came out a year ago well i also theorize that the developers of the game paid Corey a very large amount of money to play this game to promote it even more and we know Corey would do something like this because Corey has played games in the past just for a good check off of AdSense and also the developer doing a paid promotion. Okay, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have to stop the video there because those zoom ins and those whoosh whoosh, yeah, I, I genuinely think I lost brain cells watching that. But, anyways, so you guys can see, he just stretches these theories like, oh my god, Corey played a game and the developers paid him, yap, 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 which is a big stretch. Like, like Corey is also a human being. Like, he probably just bought the game and played it in his spare time, like many other human beings. I genuinely don't think there is a need to literally stalk his gaming online profiles think about it he's probably taking a break from youtube for a reason maybe he is burnt out or is overwhelmed with it in general i mean the guy has been uploading for 15 years straight and as a youtuber myself who has only been doing it full time for a couple months now even i feel burnt out sometimes so i wouldn't be surprised if Corey is just yeah. taking a break from youtube after uploading years. for 15 years straight yeah, which is probably a longer time than some of his viewers have even been alive for but this actually adds on to my next point so yeah he's taken a break but even when he's on a break his own fans began stalking his social media and gaming profiles i bet the guy feels like he has no privacy or anything so yeah you guys can see why what the gamer palace is doing is wrong now as i told you guys Corey's fans literally despise this guy so i think it'll be funny to read some of his comments stop using Corey's name to milk views simply wait for him to return i hate when people use Corey's name to just get some clicks and views real Corey x kenshin fans know that Corey is simply enjoying his life outside of youtube and don't know when he's going to return but they know he eventually will leave him alone so yeah so we can see Corey fans don't like the fact that gamer palace is using his name for views and even they themselves know that he is literally just taking a break and enjoying life and people like also claim that he is clickbaiting and putting misleading titles on his videos which i guess you know they're not wrong but at the end of the day i personally think every youtuber over exaggerates a title or thumbnail it really just how the game works at the end of the day if you want to get more views that's just what you need to do now i don't think like slightly clickbaited or over exaggerating is wrong however when you're spam uploading the same video every day which really has no foundation to what you're saying i definitely can see this being on the borderline of misleading information or even spam content which would be against the youtube community guidelines but at the end of the day i don't think the game yeah mm -mm. Clickbaiting it. Well, that is the game of YouTube sometimes. Clickbaiting. The game of Palace is really hurting anyone. Like, yeah, his own reputation is being damaged and he's also taken advantage of the younger audience but it's nothing too bad. Okay, little bro, you're grounded. Go to your room and think about what you've done. So yeah, as we can see, these Corey Kenshin fans literally have too much aura and are now parenting the Gamer Palace. And even in the Reddit, they're calling him out. So the title of this one is A Total Bag. I might have to blur that out, guys, because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. Um, some of you may know the Gamer Palace. He's, is, he's clickbaiting Corey and using it for clout. He claims that Corey is in his newest video. Corey loves his type of content. However, Corey X Kenshin did say that he doesn't listen to people who say i know when Corey's coming back because i don't know when i'm coming back Corey x kenshin mentioned that in a video before saying his brother blocked him and that he apologized to Corey and showed that clip next video acts like that never happened he continues to say that Corey loves his content gamer palace you <laughs> you know how bad you look right now go ahead and cry about it guys that is terrible grammar but basically Corey kenshin said to not listen to the gamer palace Corey's brother blocked the gamer palace i think so some people also say that the gamer palace is like harassing or um, stalking Corey, which I don't think is true. Like I've said before, his content isn't really harmful, just clickbaity and misleading. I think stalking the stream and PSN profiles is quite weird and insane, but at the end of the day, I guess if Corey was really
really that bothered. He would just put his, his profiles on private if he really wanted to. Now, another issue of the Gamer Palace is that he has these member subscriptions on his channel. So, like, people can pay five bucks a month where these members can watch his exclusive live streams, which now is kind of the crossing the line now because he's promising to give away exclusive information about Corey, which he obviously doesn't have. Like, the Gamer Palace isn't some secret informant or anything, yet he is selling subscriptions to his live streams where he's promising people that he will tell them information on Corey's whereabouts, which, yeah, is probably the worst thing he's done so far, especially as a lot of these people are just young kids who want to know where their favorite YouTuber has gone, and this guy is clearly taking advantage of them. So yeah, to sum it up, basically Corey Kenshin has these diehard fans who are completely obsessed with him, and I'm not dissing, I wish I had a diehard fan base like this also, I respect it. But I also think personally, some of them should stop feeding into these clickbaity videos. Like, no offense to you guys, but Corey has over 1,500 videos on his YouTube. I know even the most diehard viewers haven't watched every single second of those videos. So until you do, stop asking for him to come back. There is more than enough content for you guys to watch. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, thank you for that. So basically, that 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 sums up the whole thing. And me personally. That is, that is weird, you know, you need to... Now wait, he said he been doing this for a few months and got a lip. What am I doing wrong? Up, oh, I know. Add it in. Probably you, prob probably a lot. You know what, I'm not even gonna ask that question. But anyways, let's go ahead and read these comments. What percent my 10? Go ahead, hurry up, y'all. People gotta understand, Corey has been on YouTube for 17 years and all. Oh, that's almost two decades of his life. He definitely deserves a break considering that most people wouldn't even still be doing content after the amount of Oh God, that is true. That is true. Most definitely, I believe that one. <clears throat> Poor Corey, this is creepy. Let the man live. He's human. There's no to stop. Oh God, W Corey for blocking the camera flat. Just start. Just let Corey live. He's no over. Um, oh God, let the man be. He'll be alright. Once he come back, I might, I might, you know, watch it. You know. But anyways, that that sums it up. Make sure you like, come subscribe. Without it being said, it's the end of the video. On the road to 20. On the road to 10k at 2300. I will be doing long vlogs. Without it being said, it's boy OGT Man signing out. Diddy.